seems that the Turkey and the United States can't agree on very much at the moment, let alone a, a phone conversation between the two presidents. We have the state news agency here in Turkey, Anadolu Agency, uh, quoting a number of uh, official sources saying that they're... Turkish officials are, are taking issue with the statement that the White House put out after this telephone call just to run you through of the, uh, what they say are the inconsistencies. They say that Donald Trump did not discuss uh, his concerns about escalating violence in, Af in Afrin, uh, despite what was put in the statement. They said that what Donald Trump actually did say was he asked for a, a, a restriction on the operation, for a time limit, and he also asked for Turkey to avoid close combat in Manbij, a city on the edge of a YPG-controlled area. Uh, they also said that Donald Trump did not use language such as destructive and false rhetoric coming from Turkey, which was contained in that statement, and they said that uh, the Turkish president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, he did ask Donald Trump about the U.S. backing of the YPG of its uh, supplying of weapons to it and asked it, uh, the U.S. to stop. And Donald Trump apparently replied, uh, we're not providing them with weapons. This, this particular issue is one that has uh, proved to be a real bone of contention between the two sides and has, has probably helped sort of really uh, increase tensions between the two at the moment because Turkey is increasingly sceptical that uh, uh, the United States has, has actually stopped this supply and they don't really trust what the United States is saying. All right, we're going to be going into a little bit more analysis on this conversation with our Turkey analyst, Yusuf Edim, in a, uh, a little bit later on in the show. But you mentioned Manbij. Now, Turkish leaders have said that they would also be targeting YPG elements in and around Manbij. This is proving to be somewhat controversial, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. It's been controversial for quite some time, even if you go back to the time of Operation Euphrates Shield back in 2016, Turkey was talking of going in to remove the YPG from Manbij at that point. That never really came to fruition then, but now what the Turkish uh, government is saying, they want the YPG to move out uh, further east past the Euphrates River. That is something they said a couple of years ago, and uh, what they say will happen after that is the Turkish military will move in with the FSA to secure, to protect this area from what's going on in the, the Turkish uh, civil war, sorry, the Syrian uh, civil war. This is a city which is more probably ethnically diverse than other places in northern Syria. There are Arabs, Kurds and Turkmen all living together side by side. Now if Turkey does go into Manbij, this could complicate the situation in Syria all the more because this area Manbij, it's not connected to Afrin on the map at the moment. It's an area where the US-led coalition, the coalition against Daesh is more actively involved in the train and assist operation with the YPG. You've got American military there as logistics and advisors to the YPG. So if Turkey goes in, there's a much higher risk that they'll come into contact with the US military and maybe even conflict with them.